What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video we are jumping into Iron Man Annual Issue Number 1 of 2023. This is also part 2 of Contest of Chaos. Now we have already seen Spider-Man vs Wolverine. Agatha is trying to rebuild a dark hold, doing this by stealing the heart of Cthon. She is now waging a contest. She is building her team, and with Wolverine coming out victorious against Spider-Man, now it is time for the battle between Storm and Iron Man. So make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel, make sure that you like this video, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so we are picking up in Mexico. Storm has been hearing voices in her head. She has been hearing these voices even on Arako, presuming that this takes place before everything that happened with our X-Men and the fall of Krakoa, because Jean was helping her out by replaying these voices that she had been hearing. But as she descends her way down to Earth and finds herself in Mexico, these voices get louder. This is what takes her to a giant crystal cave. A voice calling her inside. Not sure what's going on, this is where she runs into Iron Man. Because Storm isn't the only one to hear these voices. Tony has also been hearing them as well. As the two of them walk inside and they begin to investigate. Tony is not picking up any other life signs but the two of them but Storm is detecting some kind of supernatural activity. As they walk deeper into the cave, they both hear the voice of T'Challa, but they know that it is obviously not him. Coming up to a ledge, they both descend down, but as they make their descent, this is where things get a little bit weird. They start seeing people and voices in the crystals, and in the crystals, Storm is taunting Iron Man reminding him of everything that he has done wrong, reminding him of all of his mistakes. This causes Iron Man to lash out. Whatever is going on in this cave, it is making the two very irritated with one another, to the point where they both begin to attack, with Storm bringing down the lightning. It hits Tony, and Tony retaliates with another blast from his chest, as we see the crystals beginning to fall. Both Storm and Iron Man feeling the impact of these hits. Storm believes that the crystals are making them act irrationally, but that's not stopping her from going after Iron Man, because the irritability is so high that they can no longer control their actions. They lash out at one another, with this only getting worse as the crystals continue on, coming in the form of Cyclops, coming in the form of Captain America. With Storm bringing down the lightning, Iron Man is able to maneuver through the lightning and he launches his missiles. He is able to bring Storm down to his level. He says that he is taking her in so she can explain herself. But Storm was only playing possum. Waiting for Tony to get close enough, she hits him with a huge bolt of lightning right in the arc reactor. This knocks his helmet off and it leaves him steaming. And with a quickness, Storm moves in on him, kicking him in the head, dropping him down to the ground. As everything comes crashing down around them, we see Tony fall down to the bottom. As he gets up to his feet, this is where he sees Professor Yinsen, another manifestation taunting him saying that he was used by Tony Stark, that he had a family, and all of that is now gone. With Tony hitting him with a blast, he doesn't recognize that he was actually hitting Storm. With Storm taking this blast, this is where memories of her past come up, putting her into an almost childlike state. When she goes to make her attack, she doesn't recognize that she is attacking Tony, both of them fighting off their past, but both of them not seeing that they are just fighting each other. When the smoke clears, Tony just sees Storm lying on the ground, having no idea what the heck is going on. Storm lets Tony know that she has seen him in action many times before. She knows what he is actually capable of, and with his armor in such bad shape, she is not the one that is helpless down here. As the lightning cracks, we see Storm carrying Tony out of this place. Once they are finally out, they are free from whatever was going down in there. Whatever those crystals were, they wanted them to fight. Now she wonders why they were drawn here. What could possibly do this? Now Tony says that she was right. He has seen better days. 
but even still, she would have put up a better fight. While Storm admits that Tony definitely gave her a run for her money, at the end of the day, there was no way that Tony was going to win this fight. This is where the purple smoke comes in and it begins to take Storm away. As Tony reaches out, Storm says that something has a hold of her. And so Tony left behind, he gets in contact with Captain Marvel. Not sure what the heck just happened, but he is needing a ride home. And then he's going to try and figure out what the heck all of that was. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. This issue a lot like the last one. Something taking over our heroes and making them fight against one another. But in this situation, it was a little different. They weren't just fighting each other. They were fighting their past, their memories, the people that they had loved and lost or people that they had hated and fought against. The truth is, Iron Man and Storm, you can never make this a fair fight without a situation like this. Storm is a literal goddess. Iron Man is a guy with armor. And that armor may be good, it may be strong, he may be able to take down some of the biggest and baddest out there. But at the end of the day, there is no comparison between the two. Storm was destined to win this fight. But with Storm being swept off, Spider-Man is still out there with Jessica Jones trying to figure out what the heck is going on. Now that Tony has seen all of this, we can assume that he is going to join up with Spider-Man and try and figure out what's happening. But Spider-Man is currently seeking the help from Clea Strange, hoping that this might help them in some way, shape, or form. But before Spider-Man can truly do anything, we still have a handful of annuals left. Human Torch vs. Ghost Rider, Moon Knight vs. Taiguki, Spider-Gwen vs. White Fox, Venom vs. Daredevil, Cyclops vs. Captain Marvel. Will our heroes be able to catch on in time to what Agatha is up to? Will the Scarlet Witch interfere at some point in time? Or will Agatha be able to complete her Darkhold and see the rise of her new team? Let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories, if you would like to get completely caught up on everything going on with this series. Check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It'll get you completely caught up on everything going on with the Contest of Chaos. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having multiple different tiers. From $1 to $50. From loyalty badges to comics every single month. Not only are you helping out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. If you are unable to do this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.